Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> Today is brought to you by a different angle in a different place. <laughs> it is only a few short days until I am moving back to Australia from Japan. And of course that means that I have to take all of my stuff from being here for two years back home with me. Yeah, that's quite a challenge, has been quite a challenge. My room is literal trash right now. If you guys, I don't think you guys want to have a look, but this is the reality. Let's take a look at what my room looks right now. This is literally right beside my bed. Yes, I do have my pillow pet and some of my bedding there right now. Take a little swerve to the left. What is this now? I have like skincare, bags of bomb bags, more bags up there. This is literal trash. Empty things, more things over there. Don't even want to know what's over there. On top of my wardrobe thingy. Yeah. So, my room is actual literal trash right now. So, hopefully you guys won't ever be seeing this ever again. As you guys can see, I am going through kind of a lot of packing and throwing out and all that right now. But I thought today I will kind of take you guys through my makeup declutter. I don't actually have too much makeup, I think. I mean... <laughs> probably sounds ridiculous but compared to how much I would usually have living overseas is very different I definitely didn't buy as much as I thought I would same as in America when I went to America I thought I would buy way more but I didn't I think it's because when you work this kind of limited of what you can use and wear and like busy and makeup costs a lot of money and whatnot so I guess this will be kind of like a makeup collection but not really my collection anymore because I'm getting rid of it declutter video Let's get right into it. So this is my table right now. This is where I usually do my makeup. It is facing the window. And I have this little vanity thing right here. I know you guys can't really see it right now. But this is where I do my makeup. And I do have a couple of drawers in here. These are usually products that I use quite often. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of that much. That I will be using up because it's like half empty. L'Oreal's Helloscopic Favorite Mascara. Favorite Eyelash Glue. Kate Concealer. I've been using that for a while. That's my new eyeliner. I'll be keeping that. Age Rewind. I'm halfway through my last one. Of course I'm going to keep that one. Suzanne Highlighting Concealer. Not my favorite, but I will use it up. Let's change this angle a little bit. I'm getting a bit too much boob action other eyeliner this was like a sample cover effects primer which it was kind of whatever it was kind of oily chi chi eyeshadows i love them we'll be keeping that this is my dip brow and i've used it for so long i do think it's drying out and i have the tiniest little bit left but this is pretty much all i use so i'll be keeping it with me this is the dollar store pencil i have actually been using like every now and then i probably won't take it with me this h and m eyeshadow i've been using it for so long and yet i only just hit pan but it's broken this is such a hard decision. I'm going to keep that aside for now. This is my belt in with all my frequently used eyelashes. Most of them are actually fairly new. I did clean this out somewhat recently so I'll probably keep all of these and this one too my L'Oreal palette I was actually using it for work in America as well as Japan because it's so matte and basic kind of brown shades that's that's in the maybe part together next draw Lashinista this is pretty dry bad girl bang I wasn't the biggest fan Maybelline color drama I probably will keep all of these they're very easy to use eyeshadow roll on sticks hell yes i am going to keep this i use these so often i've got the etude house bling bling ones and then this is i believe a misha one that is oh it is so close to the end but i can't i feel like it's such a waste i'm bad at this declutter thing <laughs> brown eyeliner yes love drops eyeliner yes i'm still using that they're all liquid by the way physician's formula Ooh, the real scandalized that's who's supposed it it's not as smooth, it's kind of dry. I think I will leave it. Fasio Mascara, it isn't the best, but it's the most ridiculously waterproof mascara ever, the Fasio ones, so I will be keeping that. Probably the only time I really use it is if I'm like legit going swimming. Is if I'm like legit going swimming or something, but that's really like ultimate waterproof. Blue eyeliner, I once again did not use this a whole lot, but I'm gonna keep it because it is good eyeliner. Oh, this is my old telescopic. This is then primer. Oh, this is another roll on. Deck. NYX Jumbo Art Pencil in Milk. It's kind of dirty, isn't it? But I'm sure this, yeah, this is super soft still. I'm gonna take that with me. Their Real Mascara. Am I the only one who doesn't really like Benefit Mascaras? I don't think they're for my eyelash type. The Deep Brown Physicians Formula, yes. What's this? 
Is this a Giordano one? Yeah, oh my god, I totally forgot I had this. Yeah, it's still good. It's that nice kind of powdery one. I'm gonna keep that one. Another roll-on silver. Ooh, nice shimmer. I do love roll-on eyeshadow sticks. That looks scary. It looks like some sort of like Japanese curse. <laughs> It's not. It's not a curse. This one, I actually do think this is drying up quite a bit. I think I'm going to let it go, even though I did like it. It's like a nice beigey, shimmery eyeliner. All right. We got rid of most of it, right? I mean, we got rid of some stuff, right? <laughs> Next is this slightly bigger drawer, which has kind of my often used face base stuff. I don't have very many bronzers, as in two. I've got two. <laughs> This is the NYX matte one. That's kind of my matte contour, although it's kind of too dark for me. And then the Milani baked one in glow. I do really like this one, especially in summer. It's got such a nice shimmer to it. Highlighters, again, I don't have very many. I pretty much only use these two, I guess. And then sometimes I use eyeshadows and stuff, but I get by. The Mary Luminizer and the MAC Light Scapade. This is my old Studio Fix powder, which I can't seem to get rid of, even though it's not my color anymore because I use it as a contour color and it's done perfect. Probably going to keep everything in here honestly. MAC Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. I like to dust it on super kind of lightweight, give my skin a little bit of a shimmer. Suzanne Primer, which I don't know. I'm undecided if I like this or not, but I kind of wanted to do a video on it. So I'll keep that one and it is like super full. Smashbox Primer. Yes, I'm keeping it. I say a lot of double wear. This is slightly too dark for my skin now, but I actually mix it in with other shades or kind of use it as a semi-contour. And it really does last really long and give a flawless finish so be keeping that bobby brown skin foundation i was actually surprised how much i had used this because like there's a line is it worth keeping yes <laughs> this is really good for my skin when i want a light foundation and my skin is being pretty pale it is very light shade during the winter when i lose my color it is a really good match for me so i'm gonna keep that one the true match l'oreal I've slowly not become a fan of this one. I don't know what it is. I feel like it looks kind of cakey and doesn't blend exactly that easy and all of that. So I might leave this one. The Bourjois Healthy Mix. It's kind of like a classic favorite of mine. I feel like people have forgotten about it. When I first bought it, I liked it and I still do really like it. It's over half used, but still a decent amount left. So I will be keeping that. Bam. Okay, I guess we're done with that drawer. On top, I have my Inglot Loose Powder, which is full. Susie NY Translucent Powder. I am almost done. If I don't use it up, I'm probably not going to take it with me just because it works as a translucent powder fine, but I feel like it's a little too powdery in a sense and it doesn't bake well in kind of drying. So I have been using it quite a bit and it works fine to set my makeup, but it's not my favorite. So it's not really worth taking this when I've only got a tiny bit left. Okay, now I've got this little basket. This is kind of like my palettes and my lip products and stuff. The palettes I'm probably most definitely gonna keep everything. Which one's this one? The Ambient Lighting Edit palette. I love this palette. I've been using it so much this summer. I've been using this bronzer like non-stop so it is kind of slightly hitting pan over here. This blush I use a lot as well. It's just very natural very kind of sheeny sheer lovely shades and I do use this kind of like shimmer infused face powder and I really like it. Whenever I'm traveling I just take this with me and it's like my powder blush and bronzer in one so I absolutely love this. So much. And then my eyeshadow palette, classic naked, naked three, naked heat, Too Faced chocolate bar, white chocolate bar as well. White chocolate bar is probably the one I got quite recently, so I haven't gone into it a whole lot, but cake batter is probably my most used color out of there. Just Peaching Matte by Too Faced. I haven't used this a whole bunch but I'm really excited to kind of explore more with this because once again with work, I wasn't able to wear bright colors and such. So Colourpop, you had me at hello. I do really like this one. I don't really use the colors together, but I use like one of the shades with a combination of one of my other palettes because they've got some really, really nice pigmented shimmer shades and they do have some really basic matte shades as well. The Fenty Beauty Powder, super handy universal color translucent powder. My current favorite Red is the Fenty Beauty Snana Lip Paint and the Fenty Beauty Primer. That's the wrong one. Primer and Foundation 
of course. God, this is like trashed. The Milani Luminoso blush. I still use this all the time and I am not even close to hitting pan. So, okay, this is a funny story. I asked Logan to get me a warm toned blush, which of course that's like really hard for a guy, but I was like, you know what, just get a warm toned blush. And then he got me the Spiced Plum, which I think is adorable. But it's actually a really nice color. I was using it kind of every day for work and it lasts a really long time, I noticed. Usually I wear like BB creams and powder and stuff and that comes off way easy, but the blush seems to stay really well. So I'm actually going to keep this. It's a really good long-lasting blush. Kate Metal Glamour Eyes. I don't use this as a palette a whole lot, but I do use this pink shade a lot. And also this like brownie and this burgundy. MAC Blush in Love Thing. It's so pretty. Am I taking too long? This is going to be forever. Lip products. Probably going to keep most of this because this is my frequently used lip products and it's in a cute Miss Bunny cup and they're so cute. It looks good me. Shoot. Sephora cream lip stain in number 13. I forgot its name but it is the colour I am wearing right now and I love it. I should probably just like go what to see my face but you know this is Tina. Colourpop lip. I don't even know. Remember what they're called. What are they called? Colourpop matte lip whatever in Bumble. It's like a slightly warmer pink. Yes, I will keep that. My coloured rain ones, I will probably keep all of them. I just love their texture and the colour variety is awesome. Cherry Blossom, Sorbet and Fame. Sorbet I was using like non-stop when I was in America working and everyone always complimented it. This is like a dark mauve raspberry colour. Really, really nice. Colourpop Bright Ass Pink. I don't wear that often but I don't have any other like bright ass fuchsia like that so... I'll probably keep that one. Then I have the lip lingeries. They're not my favourite as formula. And honestly, I feel like some of them are kind of drying out. Okay, embellishment is fine. Teddy is fine. Bedtime flirt is fine. Ruffle trim. I feel like this is probably drying. Actually. Actually, not bad. <laughs> Ruffle trim I actually do use a lot, so I probably will keep that one. Exotic. Oh, it's like splitting a little bit in there. Oh, I don't know about this one. It feels like there's a lot of air in there or something. It like, it pushes back like crazy. See? Magic. I feel like if I had it on my lips, it would just crumble. I'm gonna leave that one. A true house pencil, definitely keeping. One of these was super dry too. Oh, just broke. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, there you go. That's the end of it. So, um, chucking that one out. That was the Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner. These bourgeois lip liners, I love. You can tell which one's my favourite, obviously, because this is done short. The Nude Wave, I use this by itself and also use it as a liner with any, like, pinky, beigey, nudey lip. And it works perfectly. I'm going to keep all of those. I love their texture. NYX lip liner. Oh, this one broke too. What the shoot? I mean, I actually don't think it's right. I think I just put too much of it out. Chibi Sephora lip lip stain. Oh, that baby is dry, obviously. There's not a whole lot of product in there. Yeah, getting rid of that one. The red. They look kind of translucent, don't they? I feel like the colour isn't as rich as it used to be. Okay. Alrighty. Let's move on to my little lip travel case. These are my lipsticks, which I didn't bring a whole lot of lipsticks. My YSL. Oh, this always smells so good. <laughs> I actually really like this. It feels so nice on the lips and the colour is beautiful. It's like super fuchsia. Gives your lips super plump and all that good stuff. Oh, there's another little Sephora chibi. I think that's actually still got quite a bit in it. And I actually do like that colour. It's kind of like a mauve -y. My MAC Hot Haiti. I love. Chanel Pirate. I love. Lime Crime Glamour. This is a really nice deep red. It's my other Chanel. It's the velvet ones. La Romanesque. Very nice. Um, <gasps> no! Fuchsia. <laughs> this is a sports girl one, which it's a banging colour. It's like purple. I just haven't worn it that much, but I want to. I really want to wear more colours like that now that I don't have a job. <laughs> this is a nice colour, but I feel like it's kind of another fuchsia. Wait, let's compare it to is a Revlon one. Oh, it's a lot deeper. Let me compare it to the YSL. YSL is just different from the texture. I'm gonna think about these two. I feel like I do have colors that are kind of similar to it, so I will think about those. You can tell I like my matte lip paints because I have more of them. 
these two lime crime ones I bought on eBay and I don't think they are legit. I'm kind of scared, so I'm not gonna keep those. Ooh, this is a real deep ColourPop one. Wow, it is like black pretty much. Oh, look at that lovely clump. Some more lip lingeries. These are very light shades. It's probably why I don't use them a whole lot. Ooh, that's a, is that a little lump mania? I'm going to keep them in my maybe just because I don't wear them that often, even though I would like to, because they're really nice colors, except they're just so light. Another colored rain, whatever. I really like this one too. It's just like a really deep brown shade, which I don't have anything else like that. Once again, I love the formula of these, so I will be keeping them. This is a new ColourPop one, which I got for Christmas from Logan Sister. I haven't really worn it yet, but it's a really nice plum. And it's like a My Little Pony collab. It's so cute and purple. Oh, classic velour lips. I wonder if they even work. I've had them for a little while. Oh, it actually does. But in all honesty, oh, it smells like sherbet. I don't like the texture of these anymore. I used to in the past because I thought this was a good lip paint, but they are not. Yeah, they're, they're a bye-bye. And then this is a Milani one. I do like their texture. I do like the application of the Milani ones, but that's quite similar to those. I'll just take it in replacement. It smells really good too. Whoa, that has come out way too much. Inglot Lip Crayon. I actually use it more as like a base for another lipstick and lip liner, and I will be keeping that one because it's actually really handy. Super matte though. Prestige pencil. I'll probably keep this. It's a really good smudgeable eyeliner. And then the last kind of whatever section. Let's open her up. Cezanne powder. I was using this at work. It was actually a decent powder for the price, but I have other powders and I will never buy a refill again, probably. So, bye. Prima Vista Primer, which is apparently supposed to be one of the best primers. I don't know about that. I am going to keep on two because I kind of want to do a video on it with the Cezanne the one that I mentioned before. So, I'll keep that. Canebo Green Base Primer. I've had this for a very long time, probably out of state, and I do have other green primers at home, and I don't use them as often as I used to because I don't really go drinking anymore. <laughs> I wore it so I wouldn't go red from drinking, so I think I'll just leave this here, chuck it out, because I do have like another one or two back home. Dude, I brought this and I didn't even use it. Bourgeois Air Matte, but it is sealed, so it's fresh and it's good, so I'm going to keep it. Why did I bring, un like... That was stupid of me. The RMK Creamy Polished Base Primer. I don't know. It was raved on about a little while back, but I really like it. I think it's another product that has kind of reached its date and I probably should get rid of it. Although my mum did use it actually properly and she said she liked it. I think it's good for people with dry skin because it's kind of like a moisturizing creamy base. Colourpop. Oh no, why is it cracking? Is it okay? Oh no, it's okay. Nice baby pink kind of shimmery eye shadow. I am keeping that. I love the ColourPop Shock shadows. And then the Super Shop, I can't say it, the Super Shock Cheek Aphrodisiac. I actually bought this as a contour colour, which I haven't been using a whole lot because cream contour is hard, but it really does have a natural depth to it. So I am going to try that again and try to get used to using cream because it obviously lasts longer. Chi Chi eyeshadow, I love it. I'm gonna keep it. Carnival Eye Lash Curler. I might take it home for my mum. My mum likes Japanese eyelash curlers, although I don't because they kind of shape it for Japanese eyes. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the Fessio Mascara Remover because I was saying the mascara is so hard to take off. They actually give a eyelash remover with you and I forgot it was in here. So I should probably keep that if I'm gonna keep the mascara. And I honestly think this is the last of it. I have this case with random crap which is probably gonna get mostly thrown out because it is just random crap puff from i don't know what but i don't use these puffs like ever um <laughs> a lip tint that's leaking so i've got it in a little zip lock thing although it was the only lip tint i had so i've been using it but i have a lip tint at home so trash silicone this was weird. This, I don't know how it worked. I feel like it just like moved the makeup around but didn't actually like pat it into my skin. I do not like the way you use it. And like it's got a weird, like it's got this weird. That's weird. Yeah, I regret buying that. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of dollar store stuff in here too. Mascara, eyeshadow, powder, which actually I might keep the powder. That was like surprisingly good. Eyelash rubber replacements. Yes, keeping. Baby cream, dollar store glue, dollar store cheek blush, dollar store concealer. All the dollar store stuff 
unfortunately I thought it was like maybe okay to use a couple times but it's not worth me actually taking it home with me unfortunately so none of it was too usable for me except probably the eyebrow pencil getting rid of all of that what's this uh hard candy primer this was pretty much like the weirdest primer ever look it looks like silicone or like <laughs> Putty. What is that? Very quick for me to stop using that one. Pretty crappy sponge. Not taking that. Brand new sponge. So that's probably my maquillage powder sponge. Keeping that. Beauty blender. I don't like these anymore. After using the Real Techniques one, I do not like the regular beauty blender anymore. So I'm not going to take that. Roller lash sample. I didn't really like roller lash either. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's it. That actually wasn't too bad. As you saw, I didn't have a whole lot of makeup to go through it's decent but nowhere near like as much as i had in australia which i have that to get home to i'm sure i'll do a declutter when i get home like being away from it for a while i'll be like okay i don't need the stuff oh it's pretty heavy so i'd say that is pretty decent of amount of makeup to get rid of that is probably like maybe a kilo out of my luggage that means i can take in a kilo of new makeup with me <laughs> Sorry if this video ended up being really long, but I hope you guys enjoyed and kind of got to have a quick look at what I actually have with me in Japan, which definitely wasn't as much as I usually have if I am kind of permanently in one place. But then again, I haven't been permanently in one place for close to like five years now. So maybe this is my life. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up for good luck to Tina for taking all this home. And hopefully I can actually do it. Well, I'm gonna have to, so. Anyways, I guess I will see you guys in the near future.